Hey guys, this is Matt with 4hydroponics.com and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Sun System 630 LEC. LEC stands for Light Emitting Ceramic. You've also heard them called CMHs, Ceramic Metal Halides. We've already done our video on the 315, so if you wanna check out the 315, go ahead and click on that video. It's one of our previous videos. Um, today we're gonna to be talking about a couple options on their larger size, the 630s. By getting two 315s combined, we end up with 630. Um, no one's making a 630 bulb yet or a 1000 watt CMH or LEC bulb yet. So the best we've got right now is putting two 315s into one fixture. It has its own pros and cons. Obviously we do need to you know, uh, maintain two different bulbs versus one bulb, which is you know, a little bit more costly in its own way. But at the same time, we can do multiple different spectrums. They do make uh, a veg bulb and a flower bulb. So we could do mixed spectrum. We could do just flower. We could do just veg. Um, the larger fixtures do have, you know, sun systems do have two ballasts built in, so you can actually turn one on or one off, which is also nice. You know, starting out, you might just need the one 315 on. As the plants take up more space, get bigger, we click them both on. A very nice option that they have. Um, it, this is their 315 open, no glass, uh, very popular uh, with anybody who's looking to get into the 315s right now. Um, obviously, you can see the two bulbs right in the center there. The idea is definitely that, you know, Stream metal halides produce a brighter, whiter light, more UV, just a great full spectrum light. They're better than traditional HPS or metal halide when it comes to what they're producing per watt. And the quality is usually very high because there's a lot of UV being produced. So UV out in you know, a greenhouse, outdoors in the full sun, can give you a lot of different colors, a lot of different aesthetics, and also just give you full spectrum you know, uh, products at the end of your, uh, your cycle. So the extra UV is much you know, appreciated. We like that about the CMHs. Um, and a very intense light, it penetrates very deep. It's got like a 1.9 uh, PPF. Um, just a great light all around. They also make uh, an air-cooled version, which is pretty rare. Nobody else is really doing that right now, which is unique to sunlight for the sun systems. Um, they're putting the flange, kind of that new style orientation on the side, like the OGs, um, which is really nice. It kind of makes the fixture a little bit more you know, easy to space out in your space. Uh, or in your room. There is the glass on there. The glass does take some of that UV out, so it's, it is nullifying a little bit of that benefit. But because these bulbs do run a little warm, um, well, anything that's putting a lot of light out does, the ability to air cool it is nice, especially if you have shorter ceilings and you want to be able to vent some of that heat off of your fixture. They do have this old, that new setup where the air is actually kind of going around the inner shroud. It's not actually passing over the bulbs. So it's not like your traditional air-cooled um, where you're gonna get a lot of dust and things on the inside of your glass, which is very nice. This one also has the two ballasts on it, so you can turn half on and half off. Two bulbs, so you can do the mixed spectrum or you can go full veg or full flower spectrum. Um, hinged on there, easy to clean the glass if you need to or swap out bulbs. Um, just all around nice fixture. Um, LECs have been making a lot of waves. The CMHs have been making a lot of waves. There's a lot of different fixtures out there right now available. You're seeing a lot of the bigger time gardens and you know, indoor grows, indoor greenhouses going to CMHs. Less power consumption, less heat with some really high production. Some are comparing them to 1,000 watts. Some are saying they're beating their 1,000 watts. Obviously, you know, do your own research on those reviews, but there's a lot of uh, talk, a lot of buzz about them right now. So if you're looking for something that should perform well above the power that it's drawing, CMHs might be right for you. If you're really into the idea of some full spectrum light to giving you full spectrum end products, um, the extra UV and the color of these bulbs is really hard to beat. So you'll be seeing a lot more CMHs stuff on your social media feed and things like that in the future, I'm sure. Uh, if you're looking for a product, check these guys out. Once again, they do make a 315 for the smaller lights. I do have a video on that, check that out. So yeah, we've been trying this light out in our own indoor greenhouses, throwing some different things with it. We've been putting it over our bonsai trees that really appreciate the full spectrum light. Um, it replicates the outdoor really well for them. We've also been growing some hydroponic stuff like basil. I've uh, had some really good success with that as well. Uh, we'll keep you updated on how those crops turn out and how they're looking. And um, check us out online, 4hydroponics.com. All this stuff is available. Um, hope this video got you pumped up and explained a little bit more about what all the hype's about. And we'll see you next time, thanks.